Hello and good afternoon you beautiful people. Welcome to another edition of the Artrium's Tutorials. Uh, this one is with me, Chris Smith, on recycling. These projects are funded by the Artrium and the Arts Council England. So thank you very much to them. Hope you enjoy it today. Uh, the Artrium, by the way, is a charity based in Hartlepool. Uh, designed to improve the health, mental health rather, of people through the medium of art so there is this gallery and there is also a small studio so you can be a member uh, you can sell artwork as well if you want or you can be a member and come and do art with us so today uh, on the theme of recycling I've got some old wallpaper this is actually old wallpaper backing but the back of any old wallpaper that you have will do a box standard pencil and a rubber because today we are going to do a little bit of sketching uh, to be exact we are going to sketch using geometry basically making pictures out of shapes to help you make that picture we're going to be doing uh, a little session on sketching today so first of all I'm going to grab my wallpaper cut myself a length old wallpaper is something good to draw on. Not only are you uh, reusing it rather than it being under the stairs for the rest of your life and the people who live in the house's lives after you. Uh, uh, and it is very good to draw on, I think. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm rolling bits that I've cut off the opposite way around on the wall by rolling paper the other way. It should flatten the paper a little. There we go. That will do. So what we have here is, like I say, your box standard pencil. Uh, this is an HB pencil. Uh, HB stands for hard black. So if you get B2 pencil, for example, that means black 2. Uh, and the higher the number, uh, the softer the pencil. Whereas H, the harder the pencil, the more scratchy it is. Uh, I think that HB or 2B or B, uh, but your box standard HB pencil is a good pencil for sketching with. So we are using just box standard stuff here, old wallpaper and any pencil that you can find. What I will say about the hardness of pencil, H, I would say H and up is more for architectural sort of drawings, where that you need a very precise exact line, uh, but it's very sketchy, uh, scratchy for sketching with, uh, and the further B that it goes, the further blacker, uh, it, it is blacker, but the pencil is softer as well, which means that it's uh, smudgier, uh, it's much harder to erase on your page, uh, so I think things like HB and B, or B, rather uh, are very good pencils for general use which is probably why the HBs are uh, so popular so there you go uh, one other little lesson uh, but sometimes you can give the impression of darkness or shared with lines so if those lines were on the edge of something so say it was a ball Actually, uh, the shadow may be down there, the shadow probably over there. Uh, so that is hatching. The, another type of shading is cross hatching, which is basically exactly the same, but there are lines going the other way as well. Uh, so we have hatching. Uh, and then cross hatching now it doesn't matter which way that you put lines it is up to you you may follow the form of the shape uh, and follow the shape itself uh, it's entirely up to you it's whatever looks good to you so I will be using for this video an old Christmas card now this old Christmas card uh, as of a snowman obviously 
which illustrates a uh, drawing with shapes to create a picture. It'll help with the accuracy of the picture, but also help you just draw it in general and provide the main body of the picture. A little bird. Uh, we also draw a deer. This is a picture from an old calendar. As you can see, I've got lots of pictures. Ooh, there's a, a fox enjoying the snow, for example. Uh, that is an old calendar which I'm going to reuse as well for the sketching. Uh, as with my collage projects, use any pictures that you find. Draw them. Once you've drawn them, uh, they're yours. So, uh, draw things that you find, but use things that you find. So, use old calendars, use Christmas cards. So, a snowman is made up of different balls of snow. So, this one's made out of three balls. And basically, drawn with shapes is how you build a drawing. Uh, so, I'm going to show that here. So I'm going to sketch down very uh, roughly because that's what a sketch is. A sketch is a rough drawing. Uh, so he has a middle one and he has a big fat rounded. A triangle as a nose, uh, which is the carrot, and in my eyes, you've sort of got to uh, get used to training yourself to uh, see in shapes. Uh, so as you're walking around and you see an animal or something like that, or one of my fat lady family or friends, uh, think of them as shapes and how that you would draw them. Uh, I do this automatically now, uh, so I see in shapes. And he also has another uh, triangle. I can see it as a hat. So if I turn it round to you there, we have the basic shapes of a snowman. So building a drawing, like I said, is like building a snowman. Uh, so this is in a few different pieces. And it's just made up of some circles stacked on top of each other, like a snowman. Uh, and some triangles stuck in. Uh, but from that, uh, we can add more detail to the sketch. So the head uh, is closest. Actually, I think I'll start with his nose. Uh, his nose is closest to me, so out of everything around that area so I'm going to start on that oh, another tip I will give is uh, when you do sharpen your pencil and you are about to sketch uh, you don't want it too sharp you don't want to completely scratch the paper or break the tip of your pencil uh, none of that so I would advise uh, just scribbling for a little while and this will round off the edge of your pencil to make it easier and nicer to draw with and it will look nice. Uh, so back to this Snowman, I don't have much room on this desk. Uh, normally I would be turning the paper round and round and round. Uh, that's another point. Whichever angle for you draw at the easiest and it's best for you, that is the best angle. So if you're drawing like that, which is very natural, turn the paper around to make it easier. If you are doing the inside of a curve, the inside of a curve is always easier than the outside of a curve. So I would never try and draw that line there 
uh, from this way around because it's just too awkward. Uh, I would turn it around to there and your hand naturally moves in an arc which will help. Uh, so turn the paper however you want, whatever is easiest for you. So I will bring my little snowman back. As you can see, uh, next up, is this big fat head. I'm going to draw around that. Uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, the the lines that I've already drawn. Uh, for the shepherd's head, uh, his hat. You can add shapes as you go on if they help you to draw. So, for example, we have the rim of his hat here, which uh, forms, uh, well, that is made up of a curve, which is part of an, ov an oval. So I've drawn one down there to help me draw this. Then the top of his hat comes across there. I'm going to do this uh, really, really quick, actually. Uh, we have a band on his hat that goes across there. And the top of his hat. So as you can see, I've used the triangle. Uh, and the circle, well the two triangle and the circle to create the head of the snowman. Uh, I'll turn it around and show you. Uh, and back to me. That's uh, why the snowman would have a chin if snowman had chins some people don't have chins I did have a student and she hadn't been in for a few days uh, so I asked whether she was to another member of staff and she was having an operation to get a chin uh, and then she came back to uh, college and she had a chin because before it was really really receded and she had a chin uh, so sometimes people have operations to get chins, I found out on that day. Uh, next up everyone, we've got uh, a scarf which comes across a bit like that. Uh, and then the next main bit. Of... Uh, his body so I am following the lines do the oval that I sketched down I'm going to follow those lines as well turn the page round to make it easier Uh, and his arm's going to come across something like that. Uh, nice round buttons. I'm going to sketch on. So a sketch uh, is normally in preparation for a drawing. So I could go over this with black felt tip uh, to really pick out uh, the lines that I want to keep if you like I personally like sketches uh, so I would much rather see this with all of the pencil lines on uh, than what some people may call a finished piece uh, I like things to look sketchy it's like Disney uh, I much prefer the original storyboards where shapes are just sketched down to make uh, the cartoon characters than the final uh, cartoons if you like Mickey Mouse 
as it is is a good example of this because he is uh, three circles, two for his ears, one for his head uh, he'll have two eyes on there which are two ovals uh, a nose, mouth, whatever so Mickey Mouse is very easily drawn from this method using circles probably uh, why it was originally drawn in that way I don't know who knows find it out don't tell me uh, so back to our drawing my drawing our drawing uh, he's going to have some holly up there And he has an eye back there and an eye there. Uh, and a bit of a smile. Like I say, turn the pep around if it's easier. So that is, oh, his scarf, I forgot his scarf. So, the world is made out of shapes. For reasons that we won't go into right now. Uh, you will find a lot of things that are circular like the world that we live in uh, the planet earth uh, but there are a lot of geometric shapes prevalent meaning very common in nature such as uh, things like hexagons uh, which leads on to the way that flowers bloom and work if you like uh, under the way that beehives are set out uh, it's, it's a very interesting subject to some people uh, including myself actually so you can't talk to me about that just don't talk to me about whatever else, what else it was I said uh, so we're going to finish well I'm going to give an indication of because we are going to move on uh, a scarf just to prove I can draw scarves and I wasn't missing it out because I can't draw scarves Actually, I can't, because I don't know how that knot's going to work. So there you go. I can't say scarves. I also found out the other day, uh, I couldn't say, we'll try now, I can't say fire falls, fire falls, fire Everyone. Well, there are certain things that everyone can't do or struggle with. Uh, so, a scarf would go around somewhere around there, uh, and we have an arm coming off. Uh, this snowman here, I don't think this is the best picture of a snowman, but it's the only one I had uh, at hand uh, from an old Christmas card. But it does show. Uh, this snowman way of building a picture through shapes uh, so I think we'll draw one more picture and we will go with what's it going to be it's going to be the deer uh, so I'll get my other bit of paper Ta -da. let's draw that deer So I've never seen this day before in my life. I have to tell you that. Uh, we haven't met, have we? No, he says. Uh, so this is my first time sketching this day. Uh, so as I look, I'm just checking that's on camera. Uh, 
I can see round here is a circle and off I think that needs to be a little bit bigger off Comet's toys uh, they are part of ovals as well so if you took an oval Uh, and then cut the corners off into a diamond uh, and then round it off those two corners you would have good deer ear shapes uh, back to this uh, his nose is going to be in a circle which is going to be down there and they both connect up so when you do this uh, either use your own pictures or forget about pictures altogether uh, and just use my instructions to make it from my drawings so if I say draw a circle here and draw a circle there draw a circle here and draw a circle there uh, forget about all of the complexities uh, and you will end up with like Ralph Harrison Cartoon Club without the interest in children uh, you will end up with a picture of a deer uh, so it goes something like that so the two circles are connected by what would be if you imagine the deer as having two big cheeks she looks like a pig let's draw a smile on it's looking a little bit like a pig there but you can see that these two curves uh, are actually parts of other circles in my head uh, but the nose comes in a bit like a bone arrow there uh, let's see where the eyes are so as I was saying, uh, we have eyes, if I come down, I also do this when I'm drawing, I imagine uh, different lines, it's, it'll be very hard to see these lines here, but these lines exist in my mind. Uh, so from the corner of the ear, uh, we know that the eye happens around there uh, and on the other side it's a bit further out we'll say around there uh, one good thing I will say about drawing animals uh, <coughs> or things like the sky is there are no wrong answers so if this deer does not look quite like this deer no one's going to say hold on that isn't Harold the deer uh, and you'd say yes it is because no one knows what Harold looks like properly unless you knew Harold very very well uh, so you can't make as many mistakes a deer will look like a deer a sky will look like a sky uh, Otherwise, I would advise, uh, I think Claire went into this in one of her tutorials, uh, using tracing paper, using the grease proof paper that I gave you as tracing paper. Uh, if you are drawing faces, people, things like that, things that need to be in proportion, things that need to be exact, I do advise strongly using uh, tracing paper. Uh, so back to this picture. Uh, the bottom of his nose, uh, his mouth comes round like that because he does have a smile 
so as you can see uh, I'm using uh, the different shapes uh, to help me build this picture like the snowman on the other picture and then across to the top of that circle that I drew I'm going to flatten that out because it is on the picture so I've cut the top off the circle uh, his ear, like I said, comes around something like that. His eye should be somewhere up there. Uh, you will notice that when I'm drawing, sometimes I'm holding the pencil further down, like this. Sometimes you may want to hold the pencil uh, further back like this uh, you have sort of less control but you can create more swiping lines and it is a lot more sketchy as well uh, so for detail you will find that you move further down the pencil uh, whereas in sketching you will move further the other way uh, I will show you actually while I think about it, the different kinds of mark that an HB pencil in this case can make so by using the tip of the pencil it will make very sharp lines if you move the pencil further on to its side as you can see I'm moving further on the pencil here as well you can produce a lot thicker lines which you may use for shading so from using the very tip uh, to the very side of the pencil I don't know how well you can see it there, but it is what it is. I'm going to thin its face off a bit, hopefully, here. Eh? So all of this started with a couple of diamond shapes for ears. A circle for the forehead and the top of the skull, well the main part of the skull. Uh, and a circle for the nose. Uh, and I'm still using those shapes as we speak. I've completely messed up. Now it's starting to look a bit like a dog. But, like I said, that is okay. I don't care. The important thing when doing art is uh, that you enjoy doing it. So always draw for yourself unless it is your business. This chin is on there. If you are drawing uh, people or animals by the way, always forget, sorry remember, that they will have a tiny bit of light which will be in a little circle or a little crescent half moon, half circle uh, of light where that light is catching their eyes and that gives life to that animal or to that person otherwise the eyes look very dead like a snowman actually so we don't want the eyes to look like snowmen we don't want people to look like snowmen uh, we want light in their eyes not bits of coal stuck in the head. Yeah, that is a big mistake that people often make and can ruin drawings with it. So hopefully you will draw a day at that looks a little better than this uh, I haven't done any hatching on it I apologize for that there's a little bit of hatching for your trouble uh, and turn it across hatching when I say about following the shape of something uh, like the e curves around like that you may do the shading that follows that curve round. Uh, 
uh, there is the drawing that I had. Uh, I think I prefer this fat-haired snowman. But there we go. Uh, I did do a couple last night uh, to work out if I could still draw anymore, actually. Because I haven't drawn in a long time. Uh, so there's my snowman from last night. Uh, so that's based on this bird which was made out of one big circle and one little oval just there just there and a couple of diamonds for the leaves well ovals so thank you very much for joining me today Chris Smith uh, as part of the Art of videos tutorials on recycling and I will see you next time uh, hopefully you, today you have learnt and will draw from old Christmas cards uh, and calendars whatever uh, just please draw it's, it's great stuff uh, I will see you next time thank you goodbye <laughs>